Hey guys, how you doing? It's Tony from Exquisite Homes. I want to give you guys a brief rundown on the DeWalt DCN45RN cordless roofing nailer. I think this thing's a great tool. I used it today to put down two squares of roofing. Bump fire works amazing. It revs up like any other DeWalt cordless tool, but I'll tell you, you don't even hear it once you got your music going. So a couple of things about this gun. What does it come with? Well, the kit came with a 2.0 battery, a bag and a charger. I got it for $269 uh, from Riverhead Building Supply, a local lumber yard out here on Long Island. Actually, I didn't purchase it. Uh, my friend Alex did. He got it for me as a Christmas gift. So a couple of things about this. It comes with a belt hook. Comes with your depth setting over here in your uh, for the size coil that you're using. So if you're using an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, inch and three quarter, pull the slot out for your roll and then just set it to the size nail that you have. Also, on the front, you have a dial here for your depth of setting, depth adjustment, numbers one through five, one being the shallowest, five being the deepest. You have a jam clearing lever here. All right, I personally have not had a jam yet, so I don't know how well that works, but after two uh, squares of roofing today and a 5.0 battery, I put the 5.0 on it only because it gave it a little bit more counterweight to the back, which made it a little bit more comfortable for me. Um, I only used one bar out of the three. Now with the 2.0 battery, they're saying you should be able to get a square down, which is three bundles of shingles, architectural shingles. Um, so for me, with a 5.0 putting down two square and only losing one cell out of a fully charged battery, that's great. Now, the only thing that I would say, oh, also, you have this lock and unlock for the trigger here, okay, which also works out great. Um, like I said, you have the wind-up for the DeWalt, but as long as you're holding that trigger, your bump fire is going to work exceptionally awesome. This thing keeps up, almost keeps up with the pneumatic. Pneumatics, you could go pretty quick. The only thing is, is that because you don't have the air pressure going behind it like you would with the pneumatic, once you hit a rafter, you know, you shoot through that plywood and you're hitting a rafter or a solid beam under there, it's going to possibly deflect. Now, so far, this did deflect when I hit a rafter, but it did not deflect on the last nail. The last nail of the coil, it stood perfect in line. It shot straight every time. So I never had that fall out of that last nail. Now, the only thing that I will say that I do have a little bit of an issue with is with the cage. Now, a lot of people will tell you that if they if you've read the reviews on this thing that they have issues where the cages pop open. I did not have a problem with the cage popping open on me, but what I did have was that after I f put in a new roll of coil and this little lever here that for the feeder that holds the cage back, there's not much meat here. You have this little spot right here. It's only really about maybe 3 16 of an inch. And when this little jammy closes here, it's supposed to go down and pop up. Now, my issue was, was that the cage would go higher and then the lever would be in the bottom here in that void. And then this cage would just uh, open up. It never popped open on me, but what happened was is that it, this just never caught it. So maybe this could be a little wider. But other than that, I would say the gun is definitely well worth the money. It's great for anybody that's looking to increase their productivity and efficiency on a roof or a repair or a DIY project, but definitely worth the money. I would highly recommend this gun. This is my only drawback on it. Other than that, I would say the quality of the product is excellent. The firing mechanism is on, is on point. And then the only thing that you have to get used to is the angle of the gun. Most roofing nailers are a little bit more upright. This one's got a little bit more of a backwards angle. So once you get that down and you're comfortable with it, you'll be shooting this thing without any, without any issues. The first few nails I shot were a little off only because of the way I was holding the gun. Once I got square to my roofing, it went down with no problem. So I would highly recommend this. This is not me feeding you a bunch of BS because I am one person that will tell you the God honest truth about any tool that I use, the, pro, the pros, the cons. This is definitely a tool worth buying. Add this to your toolbox, to your collection. All right. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody. If you got a question, leave it down in the comments below. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.